What's up everybody, Ricky Bobby. Happy Labor Day. And today is, is Labor Day. It's Monday. And summer has arrived. It feels like, finally. Um, it has been a completely crappy summer here in Southern Ontario. It has not been hot. It has been cool. It's been rainy. And the palm trees have not been liking it. Well, they're doing okay, but it's not ideal for them. They need a good growing season, so. Uh, today it's 30 to 31 Celsius, tomorrow 32, and then uh, stays like that for the rest of the week, and then it tapers off and gets cool again, and we get into like September weather. So we'll do a quick update on everything. So, Cygress, Romans Afiana, the Queen. These things are pretty bulletproof. I think I've said this before in the video. This was like a $40, $45 palm I bought like a year or two ago. And uh, it's funny, like the roots are showing, it needs to be repotted. I pulled it out of the pot today, added some soil. The roots look absolutely insane on this thing. They're beautiful. So this palm is healthier than healthy and it's doing really good. So that's awesome. And it's nice and small and lightweight. So it's a good palm for the deck. Put it behind the chair because the wind blows it over very easy because it's top heavy. And then the uh, Coco Thrynex Cronita, the old man palm. My favorite palm, pretty much one of my favorite palms. This is my gem. This thing's worth a fortune up here in Canada. And uh, it's doing really well. It's got a spear. You know, these things are slow, as you guys know. What we got? Oh, just one spear in there? Okay, one spear. Um, puts out about a spear, two spears a year, something like that. Loses one indoors. But, uh, and it's water hungry. So, but because of the weather we've had, we've had a lot of rain. I've only been watering everything once every week to every two weeks. That's the, the cycle. When we have hot 30 degree weather every day, these things get watered a lot more. And we haven't had that this year, so. What yet yet by Fricata, the foxtail. Finally, this spear, which started in the spring, like indoors, I finally just gave it a little helping. So what I did was, it was straight as an arrow, like this. And I just pulled it back just a smidgen. And then I found the second spear growing. So it is growing. And, put the, one of the fronds up beside it, it's about open, or the same length. So a little bit more time and it should be open, go figure, it'll open uh, <laughs> as I go to put it away for the fall. But uh, 15 gallon, my biggest, my biggest palm on the property. And uh, as I said before, the number one palm in the fleet is Hyophorbe Versafeltii, the spindle palm. This palm I just bought for shits and gigs, I don't know, a year ago or so? year and a half ago and indoors did not lose a frond which is insane usually a, a palm when you switch them to indoor light, uh, light will lose a frond it'll just go yellow and die really fast this one doesn't do that at all it's so lush so lush and it had this spear opened up right here this summer so there's a lot of there's a lot of fronds on this thing and as you can see it's I, I got it's tilting a little bit I gotta fix that but as you can see it's a very nice lush palm it's looking really good. So, uh, same thing, water it once a week. And then uh, Hyophorbe Lagenocollis. This is my bottle palm. I've had this for about four years now. Bought it as a, what the hell did I buy this as? I think I bought it as a seven gallon. So these are the fronds from the spring that have the a little bit of uh, sunburn, which we tried our best to not have. And as you can see, it's a fast grower relatively for, for Canada. It's had two fronds open up this summer as you can see they look beautiful and there's another spear right here coming up so this thing is actually a pretty fast growing palm for southern ontario actually to be kept indoors uh i would highly recommend one as long as you don't overwater the heck out of it and, and keep the roots healthy any of these uh hyophorbe species here these things are like bulletproof it seems like up here in canada for the indoors these guys uh not too bad not too bad, they just need a lot more light. But look at that spear, oh yeah. And this is what I call, this is kind of the, the runs of the litter. Not, not, not nothing crazy, but uh, this is a thatch palm, Thrynax, uh, what the heck, Thrynax radiata, I'm sorry. And this palm, as you know, a year ago had no foliage. Look at it now, doing good. This is a, Another bottle palm, look at this. See this bottle palm? It's about three and a half feet tall, four feet tall. 
guys i grew that from seed if you watch my old videos from five six years ago this is the same bottle palm amazing so I, I need to repot it as well it's ready for a five gallon pot or a three gallon pot actually and then cocos nucifera the coconut seven gallon uh hated being indoors absolutely hated it needed a lot of light wasn't getting it um but as you can see beautiful foliage beautiful foliage and there's the old foliage and there's a nice beautiful spear coming in there so hopefully we can rock and roll this winter with it and then my baby foxtail it's three and a half four feet tall it looks like it needs fertilizer actually it's looking a little yellow i have to look into that i think it needs fertilizer and i've had it for four or five years as well grew it from seed so i have a bismarcky up front i'm not going to show you that it's too much of a walk but anyway this is the late summer update and uh yeah you know what uh, I wouldn't be against fertilizing right now either. I'd fertilize them again. Uh, some of these plants actually do have some fertilizer that came with them. Uh, palm gain, I think it is from the States. And the ones that I have here from, that I grew from seed don't. Those are the ones that are hurting the most. So these, these guys need to be fed. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your summer, even though we haven't had much. And thank you for watching and uh, I'll talk soon.